is not available for us as a pathway to this transformation. As Africans, we are strongly persuaded that not only is it urgent for us to execute an audacious leapfrogging of the the traditional developmental pathway to industrialization, but urgent ecological imperatives also dictate that we must do, we must go green first before industrializing and not vice versa, like the advanced industrial economies had the luxury to do. I emphasize this point to underscore the principle underlying Africa's position on climate action agenda and the foundation of our strategic, institutional, and policy direction. We have an unprecedented opportunity to abandon the well-trodden yet unsustainable path of the past and forge a new route that aligns economic inclusion and shared prosperity with climate commitment imperatives. Africa's low rate of greenhouse gas emissions must not relegate us to the margins and footnotes of the global climate agenda. Africa must step forward as the cornerstone around which effective climate solutions are built. Yesterday, I encouraged participants in this summit to disregard the grievance standpoint and instead consider climate action imperative through an opportunity lens. As soon as we do that, a nexus of feasible sequences beginning, begins to emerge in an unbroken continuum from potential to opportunity and through investments and technological in innovation into green 